A lot of things have lately been generalized as hardcore, but yes. aren't necessarily hardcore. I think the hardcore scene is uh, it's in a kind of state of transition. There's a lot of bands that like you know say they came from hardcore, but they're not really hardcore bands, and that's that's when you know the difference because real hardcore will never die because it will never get that big. There will always be a real hardcore scene, and there will always be those bands that like, you know, start as hardcore and then they make the decision, you know, you change their sound and, you know, try to get as big as they possibly can, but I mean, you know, most of those bands end up sounding nothing like or acting nothing like what, uh, what hardcore bands and what hardcore kids believe is hardcore. I feel like, you know, like I have to like late 80s hardcore and, and like Gorilla Biscuits and Chrome Mags and Agnostic Front, Sick of Gold and all of that. Um, after that, in the early 90s, it was like this kind of post-hardcore thing where everybody that was in those bands went and got in major label bands, you know, there's Quicksand and Burn and all of that stuff. And, and now it's kind of almost happening again, you know, that like we have the late 90s hardcore, especially on Long Island, it's huge. I mean, everybody came through the label on Island at the time. And now it kind of dwindled down, and now with this pop punk explosion happening, more kids are starting to come out. And, you know, when, when the trends fade, a lot of those kids will go away. But we still have a bunch of kids that really found something that means something to them, you know, in it, and those kids will stick around. We're not gonna give up shit for a fucking corporation that like, you know, sucks the life out of bands. But I mean, hey, you know, if 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 kids dig what we're doing and we're not changing our sound and we're staying hardcore, then you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, look at a band like Sick of It All. They're uh they put out two major label records, both of which are some of the best hardcore records ever, and uh they didn't change a thing. And you know, they they're hardcore legends now and they did it played. their own way. A lot of people think that just because a band is on MTV that they're selling out. And you know what? Oftentimes it's true. But there are also a lot of bands out there that, like, you know, they deserve to be where they are. You know, you just kind of listen You listen to one, one band and then you're just like, wow, this is awesome. And one of the best things to do is look at the thank you list. Yes. And see the bands that those bands thank. Because usually they're very good and that'll get you into a lot of, a lot of good bands. And, uh, I mean, Long Island, it's a great scene. You know, there's always shows. It's... Tons of kids, tons of bands, and uh, it's fucking awesome.